Today, I will let you in on some of the secrets to marketing your PI business and to get your phone ringing. You need a website first. It needs to be a professional looking website, but you don't have to pay a fortune for it. I suggest you use services like GoDaddy or HostGator or even a local hosting company that you trust for your hosting services, which gives you great flexibility on how your site is produced. Make sure your website is a .com site, not a .net site, not a .info, not a .whatever else. Get a .com from my experience. These rank higher and faster in search engines. Make sure your website name has a keyword or keywords in the PI field in it. For instance, one of my sites is evcoinvestigations.com. It has the word investigations in it. Another website that I own is greeleyprocessserver.com. This one contains all of the primary keywords that I focus on for that business line, Greeley Process Server. This is important as it helps in keyword relevance, which is one of the utmost important things that you need in SEO or search engine optimization. Some of the best names for your websites but hardest to obtain would be something like your state private investigator.com or for me Colorado private investigator Com. You're going to have to do some checking and see what's available out there that will fit your company the best. This video is sponsored by OREP Insurance and Working PI Magazine. OREP is a leading provider of private investigator liability insurance. Visit OREP.org for a quote today. Keyword relevance is also necessary in the written content of your website. You need to make sure you have those keywords spread throughout your website, but it must make sense to the reader and you don't want so many keywords that the search engines think you are spamming the keyword. You may want to seek a local web development professional that specializes in SEO to help with the initial setup of your website to ensure it looks professional and will help you with ranking it in search engines. You might also find a good developer on services such as Fiverr on the internet. Just make sure you vet your web professional Get referrals, read the referrals, ask for example work. You need to keep this in mind. It takes 6 to 12 months on average for a website to start to rank on pages 1, 2, or 3 for organic searches on the search engines in best case scenarios. Organic results are those that are under the paid ads. Another booster for SEO is new relevant content being added to your site. So you might consider starting a blog or a news page on your site and write weekly articles about private investigations to help boost your SEO. Business cards are another must have for your marketing needs. For business cards, you can use a local professional printer or an online printing service such as Vistaprint. I always recommend that your business card includes your company name, your name, your position in the company, your phone number, your email, your website, and your PI license. I also recommend using the back of the card as well, maybe for services that you provide or for other information. I have noticed when I usually hand somebody one of my business cards, they almost always look at it, flip it over, and check out the back. To add something on the back, the cost is minimal. A dedicated phone number for your business is crucial, and you need it prior to ordering business cards or setting up your website. This should be a dedicated phone number, not your personal number, and preferably preferably a second phone other than your personal phone. Simply put, if you have evidence on your phone for one of your cases, it could be subpoenaed for evaluation by the court or the other side. You should always have separation between your personal life and your professional life. Do you want to work primarily with other private investigators, perhaps as a subcontractor, or you may work in a specialty field that they can refer customers to you? If working for other PIs or getting referral work for your specialty area is what you want to do, then your best bet for marketing after you have your website and your business cards would be networking. Many people dread this, I know, but it is the best way to get your name out there to other PIs. Search for private investigator associations in your state and see when and where they have meetings and what it takes to become a member. Most associations have annual fees in the $100 to $150 range, and this, my friend, is well-utilized expenditures. One thing you must keep in mind for marketing, it is always a test of time. Just because you reach a potential customer, it does not mean they will hire you right then and there. Half of marketing is putting and keeping Keeping your name in front of potential customers to make sure that they know you when they need you. Many years ago, I was contacted by a larger law firm that conducts criminal defense. At that time, I didn't do a lot of criminal defense investigations, but I jumped on the opportunity when they called. Come to find out later, the owner of that company had found me on the internet about a year prior and had called me even prior to get an idea of what my prices and my experience was. He had even talked with other PIs that knew me. While I was doing some direct marketing to law firms at that time, 
time, I had never sent that particular law firm anything. They found me when they needed me. As a rule of thumb, most law firms, insurance companies, and PI firms have investigators working for them already. Something must happen, like poor service, somebody moves, or someone retires to make them start looking for another investigator. Direct marketing to law firms is a good way to keep your name out in front of them. However, this can be tedious, it can be time-consuming, and obviously it has a cost to it, but the rewards can be fruitful over time. Your key takeaway for marketing directly to law firms is that your primary reach should be the person at the front desk, not the attorney. In most situations, the legal assistant or the paralegal at the front desk is the one that hires PIs, process servers, and other legal experts. You will find that the attorney who needs a PI usually will have the paralegals handle the details. Now, do you want to know how to reach insurance companies? Insurance companies are some of the toughest and the most coveted customers a PI could obtain. Once you get on the vendor list, you will usually see a good steady stream of work from them. There are four distinct categories of insurance work. National insurance companies, which you will probably never get on their vendor list, they tend to work a lot with large national investigation firms and large law firms who can handle their large load of claims or they have their own field investigator. Self-insured companies or government agencies, these are organizations who are large enough that they are able to cover their own insurance claims. TPAs or third-party administrators or adjusters who work for self-insured organizations. There are hundreds of TPA companies and organizations out there. Last but not least is insurance defense attorneys who are usually hired by an organization that believes there is ample reason of evidence that a higher level of fraud is happening. No matter which level of insurance defense you want to target, it is usually good to consider flat rate pricing for jobs. Generally speaking, you will be looking mostly at surveillance work for insurance companies. Flat rate pricing should be for an eight-hour day of surveillance. I usually see $650 to $800 range as being appropriate. This covers it all though. This is the drive time, the mileage, the report, the video time, the prep time, doing the backgrounds, pulling videos, social media investigations, all the work that is required is included in that flat rate. Now keep in mind, most insurance providers are not searching the internet for PIs. They usually have dozens of PIs reaching out to them on a regular basis. So your website is probably not going to attract them. Now the easiest way to market for insurance work is to start with self-insured organizations. Go to Google and search for self-insured companies in your state. In the results, you should be able to find a state web page or even a PDF document with all of the companies listed with a state that are self-insured. In this list, you will also see information such as who is the risk manager and their contact information. Now you need to do some homework. You need to investigate these companies. Next, put together a customized email or letter that briefly, I said briefly, introduces your company and ask them if they can provide information on the requirements to apply to be on their vendor list. Here is the biggest marketing tip that I can give you, folks. This one is a must-do no matter what you do to get your phone to ring. When it rings, answer the phone. Yes, that's it, folks. Answer the phone when it rings. So many PIs let the phone go to voicemail and hope the customer will leave a message so they can then formulate a plan. Nine times out of ten, folks, that customer will just go on to the next PI they found, and the one that answers the phone is the one that gets the job.